the golden orb. I don't believe we've met. I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Heed my warning. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Unless you wish to lay down your life in vain. With a prowess for weed in death root. Hmm. How would you like to earn the strength of beasts? If you're inclined to haunt more of those who live in death and weed their death root, then I'll introduce you to Garank, the beast clergyman. I have a matter of my own to attend to, and the beast himself wishes for someone to take my place. What say you? Very well. Show me your map. I've marked the location for you, of a hidden gateway. It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. What is it? Still mill the map indicates where it will lead you to Garank. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman named Lanya. She's a servant to my house. She's I've lost count of the number of times I've had to f Honestly, she's... Pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? The blessing is still aflame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held regardless? Now, come closer. of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life to do so is the purpose of my being but before I could bear the noble into new life I was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace pray be kind despite all that I still wish to be a deathbed companion, so please, let me hold you like this, as often as it takes. Then good day to you, my dear.
do you need? I have little time to spare. Oh, are you aggrieved? At the notion you were but a visitant here, then you would do well to remember the first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace. Lay low the shard bearers and claim for yourself a great rune. Do so, and the doors to the round tables in the chamber will open, and you will receive the wisdom of the Two Fingers. Once the wisdom of the Two Fingers becomes your own, I'll impart to you a proper welcome. As a true member of the round table, I have high hopes for you. I'm sick and tired of them. These namby-pamby tarnished think us no more than a shelter from the rain. We've spoken long enough. I have matters to attend to.